Somebody is revving their engine really loud on College Ave. So, sorry if you can hear that. Hi, it's Eli, and I'm running a marathon. I apologize for the low quality. I'm filming this on my computer. Also, my hair's a mess because I just took a shower and washed it, and I'm also in bed. <laughs> I had a 6 a.m. workout, um, a very difficult 6 a.m. workout, and then I had dance class, and after lunch, I just came back, showered, and I was like, you know what? I'm doing my homework in my bed. You get a great view of my posters, though. The ones you can see right here are stray kids, all of them, but I have quite a few other groups up there as well. Also, my laundry is hanging up on the rack, drying, so ignore whatever that is. But yeah, I am running a marathon in exactly two months on June 11th, 2023. This is not my first marathon. It's my fourth, actually, but I am super, super excited for it. I wanna do a longer how I got into running and my running journey um, video later, but basically I ran my first marathon about a week after my 16th birthday, and then I ran another one when I was 16, and then another one right after my 17th birthday. So I have not run a marathon in a little over two years. I had pretty bad hip flexor problems after my senior year cross country season, and that's when I had planned to run another marathon, um, but I ended up downgrading to a half marathon, which I won my age category, which is fun. I got a nice shirt, but I felt like if I was going to run a marathon, then I would really uh, screw up my hip flexors for my first season of college cross country, and so I decided to just play it safe and do a half instead. I've missed it so much running marathons is my favorite type of running it's my favorite race it's my favorite distance and i've just missed it so much and i'm so glad to be doing it again i am in outdoor track season right now my training right now is mostly just consisting of extending my long runs more than i normally would i am a distance eventer for my school which means in the outdoor season i'm mostly doing 10ks maybe one or two 5ks our long runs are normally 12 or 13 miles, but I'm extending them up to my normal marathon mileage, which is up to 22 miles. So that is the training that I have for this marathon, and it's not how I would normally train, but I definitely think I can make it work, and I definitely think I can still PR. Maybe not as much as I did last time. I PR'd by 17 minutes on my third marathon, but I would love to break four hours. Right now I'm at 4.05. So my goal for this next marathon is to break four hours. Another goal I have that I was sort of my most proud achievement for me with my last marathon was that I got faster every six miles. So I would have a starting pace, you know, I would just go out starting, feeling good, there's my pace. The next six miles, I would try and go a little faster, and then a little faster, and then my last six miles would be my fastest. And that is how I ran my last marathon, and that is definitely how I want to run this one. I think it's a great strategy, and it just shows um, my capabilities as a distance runner. I have a bunch of really fun, really fun outdoor track, content and marathon content coming soon and I say really fun because I mean I think it's fun I think it's fun to record it and post it that's why I do it I'm not really um looking to become a youtuber or something I think it's realistic this is this is realistic <laughs> um and so it's not gonna be maybe as exciting as other stuff but that's really one I wanted to get across in my videos so that I can watch them you know, 30 years later and be like, that's, you know, it's like a time capsule of my life in college. I'm in the process of making a sort of documentary type thing, which is big for me because I sort of suck at editing. I don't know. If you've watched my other videos, you kind of know I sort of suck at editing, but I really want to make a comprehensive sort of mini documentary about the training for and the actual event of my fourth marathon. I think that's all I had to say. I will put a schedule of the videos that I have that I know I'm gonna put out in the description. I have to do some homework and then go to rehearsal. So thanks for watching.
love you. Bye. <laughs> Wait, I think I introduced my plushies in like what like the first video I ever put on this channel or maybe like the second. I'm not really sure, but I got a new one. This is Bakari. He's so cute. Look at this dude. He's so squishable. Okay, bye.